bunch of things I can look at, such as... Ethan, careful. I can speak to Nasadi and Itamin. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itamin, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? <laughs> He's cute. Fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion! This kid had like one line in the first the game. Machine Hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. The and she had no lines in the first game. <laughs> Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Is that a pod? Yeah. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But Avad knew I would hate that. I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Um, tell me about the years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. <laughs> I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light. Sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk by giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. I don't think this is going to go well. I think there's going to be a murder at the embassy. Is this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. Helis was a bad the guy in the first game. Addition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands, and has been held ever since. Okay. Uh. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, Itamin, how's the kid doing? Itamin looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. 
He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. Aha, uh -huh, like Eris? Was that her name? At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. All right, let's go. I, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? Damn this shit again? And stay. <laughs> Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other. Hey yo, the king proper simping over Aloy. Damn. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. He said the world can wait. Let me sip for a sec. <laughs> for true, for true. Oh man, um, I cannot read the writing. Uh, oh, this is basically the same thing. Wow, you could straight up outright reject him. Say now's not the time or it's a nice thought. Should I... Shall I say, shall I let him down easy and say it's a nice thought? Shall I ignore the situation entirely? Or shall I say, King, you done lost your damn mind? <laughs> shall I reject his ass? Thing is, Avard is nice. I like Avard. But he's also trying to, he's, he's down bad for his ex-girlfriend. And he sees her in me. And that's not, that's not healthy. <laughs> because he said so himself and he's, he's aware of it. Finds that he tries to make them someone that they're not. So while it's a nice thought, I hope the rejection option is just a slap in the face. All right, let's do it. To a word I said. The reason I'm heading west is to deal with a danger, not just to Meridian, but a whole lot else. You really think I've got time to imagine holding hands and watching the sunset or whatever? Well, I don't. I see. Damn, that was mean. Sorry. I feel mean. I felt mean. Uh, you're She's right. Of course. Queen's right. Please. But also, damn. As I've said. I bid you farewell. As always, our hopes ride with you. So I'm I'm pretty sure that those choices so those choices aren't meant to like affect story, really. You can just choose to like emote her response in a certain way. Um, what is my quest right now? Talk to your friends and I'm gonna find my spear. Do I have any more friends? Mood. Um, back, savior. We are right here to I've spoken to Avard already. I haven't spoken to Utid and Vanasha. Where are they? Over here? That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. Oh yeah. It, oh yeah. This is the that, um, this is the remains of the final boss of the first game. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Where the f I know this game wants me to speak to more people. There's Baal and Marad. There's a Bard. 
pretty men. I've spoken to them. Is this everyone? There's no way this is everyone. Who's up there? That's the workbench. Ah, oh, there they are. If you hear a scraping. There. The workbench. I like Vanasha. Vanasha is cool. Vanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. I don't Without know if I'm imagining it, but I feel like she was darker skinned in the first game. But, oh well. So how, so how have you been? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That oh, no longer a fugitive. To listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I love her. Yeah, no, she's great. She's actually really great. <laughs> pictured you as a nanny. The second you meet, like, the Edaman. first time you meet her in the first game, she has, like, such a presence. Special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I admit. It. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Um. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> Just fuck already. <laughs> Christ. Well, I know, I know, you're out. Go, away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Sweet. Talk to your friends. Optional mood. Right, okay. Spear upgrade. Installs the master, master override and a new module to enable the buildup and release of kinetic energy in combat. Ah, so I can now use that warrior thing. The resonance blast, whatever, whatever it was called. So I can now use uh, this. Which you can't see because I'm in the way. Hello. Um, right. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. <laughs> She's just making up these names on the spot. Return to Radval. Heavy oh, melee attacks are slower, but can knock down smaller machines. So, one, two. You can't unlock combos until you learn them on the skill tree, right? One, two, three. Her form with this with the strikes are a lot better in the first game. 
she doesn't she swings it versus um like she doesn't really stab with it the stance is actually really cool i kind of like the stance and then you've got the heavy melee attack and then you've got the charged attack wow that is a very acrobatic aerial light and then you've got your air heavy which is just a helm splitter uh then you've and then attack out of a that's the attack out of a run out of a sprint and then that's your heavy out of a sprint um okay sweet Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? Time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. So we have to leave now? A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. While this is going on, I'm just going to mess with my camera. That looks better. In the storm, if I falter, if I fall, I don't look as washed out as I did before. Inside my soul carries all I know. Who can take my hand in the flood? So far, what I've played. And it's always interesting playing like a game that came out like the first game of a series and then second game of a series that series and see like back to back directly and seeing how much improvement has been made and i really appreciate the improvements made to this game the game looks gorgeous and i thought the first game did but this is on a whole other level I'm very interested to get into the new systems of this game. I'm gonna have to play this game really differently now that I'm streaming it.
Horizon Zero, uh, <laughs> Forbidden West. Three hours in and we've hit title drop. Sparks to steal. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. What machines? Nothing I can't handle. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. George, I didn't come all this way just to stand around. Who's that? <laughs> Who? <laughs> hey, how are we doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, just playing the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. Decided to play some new games on stream. Um, now that I've got a PS5, I'm just going to take advantage of all the free games on PlayStation Plus. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'm doing well. How are you been? It might be best to say you forced me. Reached the Daunt, level three. Recipe oh, discovered, ready. fast travel pack. Smoke's probably coming from something the machine. Oh, there's a lot of things on the screen right now. As for the quiet, well, there is a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Daunt. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Wow, it looks so amazing! None that want to it's, Look, look at it! It looks so beautiful! He is self-appointed. Work stop. Uh, let's see, I've been well. I'll be better by Saturday. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. So are you well or you're not well? Are you unwell? And it was a typo? Typo? Said, that ain't gonna happen no time soon. I'm confused. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Ooh. Aloy. Studious Vardis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian. Really? Ooh, I order. That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy of Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well. Ooh, I order. And so did Araman proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Errand? Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Errand? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. 
Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Guan Aloy. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. Uh, okay, first, first things first. Ch -ch 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 tools. Fast travel pack. Um... In the first game, eventually you're able to craft a travel pack that allows unlimited fast travel. Until then, fast travel is a resource. So I need to be careful with that. What next? Skills. I can do something new. Uh, let's get this. Resonator Blast. Next. Data points. I just want to clear all the little notifications because that's annoying. But oh, the world has opened. The world is now. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. What is this? Unknown. I cannot be distracted by everything. I have to focus. <laughs> it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Where's chain scrape? Is that where this is? Yes. And then I need to go to there. Swipe up to reveal the full HUD. Nice. If you'll excuse me, I need to contemplate. I'll get us packed up and move us along. Sweet. Uh -huh. Right, first order of business. Oh, uh, but okay. I can't actually explore because. No, wait, I can. Because this goes all the way up. But if I go down and then go this way. But that's like story. I want to know what these unknown things are. So actually I will what is that? A lance a fire fanghorn? What are these enemies? Alright, I'm gonna create a path there. Discover a fire campfire by approaching it. Right. Have I found it yet? I did. I passed it on the way. Huh? Where it <laughs> There it is. Ooh. That's interesting. So you can fast travel for free so long as you do it from a campfire. Interesting. But if there's anything I learned from the first game is that start hunting animals early. Machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. Right, what have we got here? Fire oh, some here. What is that?
Uh, when your medicine pouch is full, medicinal berries will go into your inventory or to your stash if your inventory is full. What's my stash? I find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. That should have killed you. Okay, there we go. Which way am I going? What is that? What's that light? Green shine silver. What is this? What does it say? My camera's in the way. Okay. Contains biofuel? Is it a collectible? Are there collectibles in this game? There are. You have found a piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource. Hidden all over the world, green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Okay. That sounds like a collectible that I'm going to have to work on. Uh, off screen. <laughs> I just want to know what the, I just want to know what that Where is it gone? Oh, these balls are fast. Hold on. They weren't that fast in the in the first game. Shit. Tag it. I like that it stays highlighted. There we go. Uh, these are new enemies. Fire Fang Horn. These are just Lance Horns, right? That we can get Frost. So if I were to say. Looks like a yeah, it looks like a lot to me. Right. So if I were to say, hey, whoop, oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, they run away too. They all run away. Okay, well, that's pointless. However, wait. Oh, I can't craft it. Shit. Oh. Shooting Elema. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I'll just do a quick. It's down. It's dead. The other one is over there. Wait, actually, what? Are... That I missed that tool tip. But I did, I recognize that I did do something pretty cool. Let me look at the thing again. I need to move my camera. 
First strike the enemy. Melee attacks to build enemy energy on your spear. Then when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your target. How do I know if they're energized? Okay. Like that. Let's test that out. Or something else. Wasted my time already. Seemed like I've wasted my. Hmm. What? Am I, am I meant to be able to go get to that? It won't. It won't make the marker because I'm there. I'm here. Is there like an underground thing? I don't know where. Nope. Okay. I don't care. Wasting time. Let's move over to. What was it called? Chain scrape. Stop yelling. Something else. Whoa. I'm empty. Ah, uh, well. The combat is not very different, but I can't do the same tricks I used to be able to do in the first game. I don't have any mounts yet. There's acid all over the place. Some machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Aaron took it down? Maybe he did. It must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. I might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Ooh, seems like there's a quest in here. Is that the savior? It's me. Want to come in, savior? Sure do. Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jorf's orders. Good enough for me. <laughs> 
What are you doing here? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. Did they change? Is there a new voice actress? I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Interesting. I'm sure that is a different voice actress. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Is that so? Is that a secondary story mission, or is that a that is oh a lot of oh <laughs> a lot of quests, unknowns and stuff like that. All right, let's do what I came in to do first.